We've considered and settled on the lease of assets, 50-year leases with 49-year options. Queenslanders retain the ownership of those assets, but they lease them out uh, for a price for the next 50 years with a 49-year option. That frees up money. We can pay down $25 billion worth of debt. We can put $8.6 billion into job-creating infrastructure, creating up to 25,000 jobs, and we can afford to pay $3.4 billion into a cost-of-living fund to give Queenslanders about $577 relief on their power bills over the next five years. Now, now clearly our plan, central to that plan, is not uh, selling those assets and making sure that they are retained in public hands uh, for the long term. Now those assets that we are talking about, the LNP selling off are $2 billion worth uh, in terms of uh, revenue returns each and every year. That's $2 billion year in year out that we want to uh, see stay in public hands so that we can use those dividends for a range of the last for a range of Well let's correct a few things. Well, well, sorry, you it, can correct him in a moment. It's Let him outline his case. Please. Let's give him an opportunity to outline his case. And so. in 2012 13 they only made $1.02 billion. So you know let's get the facts right. Uh, what we'll be doing is leasing those those assets, we'll be getting those assets back at the end of the term. So, um, so those like, conditions, like, those conditions have, uh, will be made like, public to people before like, the end of the election. Like any, like any lease. Uh, what you lease, you get back at the end of the term because this isn't a sale. Unlike Labor, sure, 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 I get that, yeah, all, and I understand that. You, and you outlined that you initially. Get it back so, at the, at the end of the term, so the so assets are leased. So let's that's, let's that's leave correct. it. We'll you get the assets back. At the end you of the get term. the assets back. Correct. Back, but the specific in terms of the specific question, because over ninety nine years, you're going to have to expect that those assets are going to have to have some improvements done to them. Sure. So they're, if they're the going, private company going to have yeah, renewal and investment in new things to make sure they stay up to date and that type of thing. So. So the private company spends yep. money doing Correct. that. That's what right. happens at the end of the lease to we, we, that to that specific those things, private investment those things, improvement? Those things come back to the state of Queensland at the end of the lease because at what no extra cost. Because what happens is when people put that investment in, they do it and they get their return through the fee or price that they charge over the duration of the term. So at the moment. The Australian Energy Regulator sets the return that those companies can receive, and that will continue whether it's owned by the government or whether it's owned okay. by so, private so, sector. But, but, so, so get hang on, Curtis, I need to ask this specific so, question. So they'll get, they'll get their return and the assets come back to the people of Queensland under the terms of the lease at the end of the lease term. So those assets, the improvements, specifically we're talking about the, any improvements to those assets made by the private companies, yep. what happens to those? So do we have to, well, well, do we as taxpayers, does the government in 99 years' time have to pay for those assets to buy them back? Well, in, no, in the normal case, you would expect that they would be paid off over the time. So you make an investment, say, over 10 or 15 years, the life of something, and you depreciate it over that period of time, and at the end of the lease, that asset comes back to the state of Queensland. With the so improvements at no extra with, with, cost. With the improvements improvements back to us. So that's that's the normal course of events. So that's, that's not, that's not what the model in South so. Australia says, the model in South well, Australia, which has been talked about before, and this is, where you, this is where you refer to the... By the Labor government, wasn't this, it? Is referred, this is where the Treasurer has referred to these assets coming back at a negotiated price, I think were his words. Now, at that negotiated price, if we're selling no, them at tens of billion words, dollars... My, word, what my words were... We're talking about negotiate. $10 billion dollars, uh, now words, in today's well, money. What is this going to mean uh, in 100 in years' time? This is going to mean uh, tens of billions of dollars, uh, Patrick, that we would have to pay as taxpayers to bring back these to, uh, to the uh, well, public purse.